What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys the grass starter from Paldea. We got ourselves a Miascarana team for Regulation Age. Now, when this game first came out, the rank format consists of no legendary, no restricted, or no paradox Pokemon. And now that Regulation Age is here, we're reverting back to the older formats and we're going in with no restricted no Paradox or no Legendary Pokemon. And Miascarada was very strong back then, so I feel like it's gonna be very strong in this restricted format, so I'm super excited to be showcasing it, and I'm hoping I can grab you guys some wins today. Now this Miascarada has the Grass Terror type to boost its Flower Trick damage even more. It's got Protein with the Choice Band as item, and then its other three moves are Rocking, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, and U-Turn. Absolutely love this moveset. You got a lot of different variety. You got that guaranteed stab crit. You got a way to take off items. You got first turn priority. And also you have a way of pivoting. All with the choice band item. So Miascarada is here to do some big time damage. Speaking of big time damage, we also have Moxie Life Orb Salamence with the Stellar Terror type. It's got dual wing beat. It's got outrage. It's got temper flare and it has protect. If you guys do not know what Moxie does, this ability every time Salamence picks up KO, grants it a plus one attack boost. So again, every time I pick up KO, we're just gonna be in like a snowball effect where this Pokemon gets stronger and stronger until it just sweeps the game. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Pelipper, Arch, Ludon. You guys know that combo already. And then we got Incineroar and Golden Go as our final two. Incineroar doing Incineroar things. And Golden Go with the choice specs is a big time special attacker. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this choice band, Miascarada team. So guys, we're going up against a tough squad here in match number one. They got themselves Torkoal alongside with Trick. They got Indeedee, Ursa Luna, Hisui and Loganth, which is a great combo to Torkoal, Fluttermane, and last but not least, they have Rillaboom. So how should we play this one? Who should we lead here? I really don't want to lead Miascarada. I kind of want to lead like, maybe Salamence could be really good. But I feel like they can just go into like a fake out user, which would be Rillaboom alongside with Indeedee and get off Trick Room pretty easily, right? That would be a bit scary. I mean, I gotta bring Pelipper, I gotta bring Arch Ludon. We need some sort of weather control. So, um, leading Arch Ludon, actually not bad for us. It is not bad for us. So I'm gonna end up doing that. Um, I could go into Incineroar. Just deal with Indeedee if they wanna lead Indeedee. And then I can go Pelipper alongside with either Golden Goat or Miascarada. Thing is, if we can win this weather war, is gonna be nasty here. If we don't win the weather war. Eh. You know what? Screw it. This video is going to have Miascarada on the thumbnail. We want we want to use Miascarada, so that's what we're doing here. Match number one, we're bringing it in here. Late game Miascarada with the choice ban. What could go wrong? It's got Sucker Punch. It's got Knock Off. It's doing some big time damage with a lot of these stab moves, so I really do like it. I really do like it. But uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Did you guys watch the Pokemon World Championships? I ended up just what, or finishing up the last day, the championship day, obviously. But I watched all of day one and all day two. Actually, I watched the whole thing considering I didn't watch day three live, but I, I, I caught up with it when it, the live was over. So I'm all caught up now. Jeans is all caught up now. I thought it was awesome. I really did. I did really did like the competition in there. I didn't really like the regulation G format. I'd rather it be a different format. But, you know, you got to do a restricted format every here and there. But who they end up leading? Torkoal and Logan? This is just a simple swap for us. And then at this point, we're just going to Electro Shot this thing down. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to swap right into Pelipper. We're going to get the rain. We are going to get the rain. Rain out and about. We're ready to roll. We got Arch Ludon in the rain, which is even better. Um, I mean, they could go for a fire move. They could put me to sleep, which I really don't like. Because Hisuian Logan is, you know, sleep pattering around. But it could also go for a close combat, and I didn't really think of that. He can close combat and just dump on my Arch Lidon, which is definitely scary. Let's hope it goes for Incineroar instead. Well, we'll see a Terra type pop out here turn one. Who's gonna be Logan? It is gonna be Logan. Hey, Sui and Logan getting that Ghost Terra type popping. That's totally fine. Maybe they thought I was faking it out. Nah, I'm not. That's not happening. I'm just hard swapping into rain. I am just hard swapping into rain, and he ends up protecting Torkoal. Really hurts soul. To protect on Torkoal, we're going to see a Sleep Powder fly out here. Oh man, that's real ugly. And we might just want to swap Pelipper here. I think swapping Pelipper might be our play. Maybe even into Miascarada could be pretty good. You do have Fairy Terror type, but you know what? We're just going to stay here, and I'm going to swap right into Miascarada. Because Lilligan is minus one. Is that a correct statement to make? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Intimidate helps us out. 
So from here, I'm gonna try to land another Electro Shot, send it into the Logan slot, and at this point, I mean swapping into Miyazawa is probably our best bet because they might swap Torkoal. Then we can have Ray in the back end. We really just need to keep this Torkoal under control, right? Logan, rather annoying. It could drop a close combat, but I mean it's minus one. Yep, and there's a withdrawal Torkoal. So good call for us to get out of here. He's gonna end up going into, I think that's Fluttermane? It is Fluttermane. And he's gonna go for sleep pattern in this slot. So, so is this is this your plan? Is this your plan? And Arch Ludon's waking up. Let's go, Arch Ludon. Let's go. So I really want to go for a sucker punch. My only problem here is uh My only problem with going for sucker punch would be if you go for sleep powder, I can't attack you. And that's a slight issue. So I mean we're gonna go for a flash cannon here with plus one on special attack. How fast are you? I mean, you can't go to sleep, which is really good. I could terrestrialize you into straight grass, which is probably my best bet. And then you turn pivot, maybe get the KO as well. Yeah, I like it, because that gets rid of our fighting and fairy weakness by terrestrializing the grass, so. That's gonna be my play. And we're just gonna try to U-turn pivot out and save this choice band for later. Alright. The nice little grass terror. I could have hard swapped here, but. I like U-Turn better because if they want a hard swap in a Torkoal, which obviously they're not, then I could have had like priority or I could have had weather come out here later. But I'm fine with just like U-Turn out into another Pokemon. But he's gonna launch Moonblast. Great Terra type from us. This still rips into me. Miascarada is dead. That really sucks, man. One tap to a Moonblast. Fluttermane coming out here and he's gonna go for Sleep Powder, which oh, obviously they land. It's gonna get real rough. I should have sucker punched into like water main, but I really wasn't expecting to die out to just a simple moon blast, no terra. Really sucks. So Arch Ludon slumped. Beautiful. I don't have terra either. Oh man. Uh, we can go into Incineroar here. Incineroar, yeah. So we got Incineroar ready to roll. This is gonna have to be an Arch Ludon match here to win. And bum, 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 bum. we're gonna try to spam Flash Cannon. And if I can, obviously we want to go for knockoff. We just have to save our. He's probably gonna switch into uh. He's probably gonna put my Incineroar to sleep, which really sucks, man. Moonblast comes out here. Are you just gonna spam sleeps? Wow, this thing's hitting like a truck. Close combat finally flies. You're minus two. We soaked that all day. Cool. So we're finally getting rid of Logan here. Um. I get a stamina boost, which is nice. And can Arch Ludon wake up? Because once it, once we wake up, we can dump on this Fluttermane. And honestly, this Fluttermane's definitely Sash, right? It's definitely Sash, unless it's Choice Specs, which actually would make a lot of sense. This thing's Choice Specs. It's doing too much damage. It's doing way too much damage. But once I wake up, I mean Flash Cannon can KO. Flash Cannon can KO. That's what I need. Then I'm going into Ndidi. Um, I wish I had Protect here. Probably gonna see, like, Follow Me pop out. Hmm. Do I rip a Draco Meteor? Nah, I'd rather rip a Flash Cannon to keep her stats. I'm gonna go Flash Cannon here. Um, I could swap into Pelipper. And swap back into Incineroar. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So we're swapping Incineroar. We have to keep Pelipper for another turn. We can't really deal with this Torkoal. I mean, we do have Body Press plus one. But Torkoal's looking annoying. And there's Follow Me. Man, dude, these sleep patterns are just... Oh, man. Can you wake up, Arch Ludon? I really need you. Yeah, this thing's choice all day. We're going to use our Focus Ash here. This thing's hitting like an absolute truck. An absolute truck. I do get a special attack drop, which really sucks. And Arch Ludon finally wakes up. But Arch Ludon with the wake up here. Follow Me is going to launch. How much damage are we doing here? Nothing crazy, which really sucks. Rain's gone. Um, we're going to have to swap Pelipper. I'm gonna have to swap Pelipper and sacrifice her Incineroar. Actually, do I protect on you, Pelipper? I don't. Oh man, I hate this game. Hmm. You know, I'd rather sacrifice Pelipper. We'll give him weather. We will give him weather. And I feel like I just need Draco Meteor down this thing. What's my special attack at? Plus one. Oh man. 
We got a high roll on this. We're gonna go flash cannon. Actually, let's start a flash cannon into this slot in case follow me doesn't come out here. Um, and if we can, I mean, Tailwind would be great. Tailwind would be great, but I had to guess you gotta be going for follow me into teleport or not follow me, Moonblast. Yeah. Dang, yo, this Fluttermane just annoying me. This Fluttermane doing me dirty. So we got no way of weather control. Can we take out Didi here? We don't. I was hoping we get a high roll. Special attack drop would have been good on the first one. But now I can just go into you. And yeah, this match is pretty much wraps, right? It's pretty much wraps. I mean, I can't protect. I can't fake out here either. Gotta go for Flash Cannon again. And I'm just dead. <laughs> I'm just dead. If I can go for a Flutter Blitz, that'd be nice. Moonblast launch. Yeah, dude, this Flutter Mage is doing me dirty. This is why they took out these Paradox Pokemon in this regulation. You see how strong this Pokemon is? It's ridiculous. They didn't go for Follow Me, which is really good. This should KO. It does. You're definitely choice. Hold up. You give me a chance here? Are you give me some sort of a chance? No, because Torkoal's just going to be able to rip, and that's a smart play right there. Pop the Trick Room. Have Torkoal come out and back in and just finish this matchup. It's good play. Great play. Great play, but yeah, we're going to lose this one all day. Not a bad match. I mean, Fluttermane's just getting the best of us. Same thing with uh, Hisui and Logan just dropping Sleep Powders all day. Really didn't work out well for us, but in the meantime, I'm going to go for Trick of Meteor. Fingers crossed just go for Follow Me and we can soak up like a Heat Wave or an Eruption, but chances are, yeah, we are not soaking this. Miss, maybe? Miss, maybe? Yeah, no, it's Eruption. I thought I was going to hope that it was like Heat Wave, but Eruption kills us 10 times out of 10 times. But GG to our opponent. Let's go hop through our second match. Look for our first win. Time for our second match, and we got no Paradox Pokemon, which is a great sight to see. They got Mousehold alongside with Arcanine. They also have Annihilate, Defiant Annihilate, so I got to watch out for that if I want to go into it. Intimidates. They also have Dragonite, Grimmsnarl, which could be Screen's Grimmsnarl. We do not like that. And last but not least, they do have Arch Ludon. Now, if screens are out and about, Mias Kravata with Flower Trick is going to work wonders. But I really don't want to lead that Pokemon. I could just lead our Weather, our Arch Ludon, and Pelipper. That's not looking bad for us. They have no weather control, so we can really just like hammer this in. So I'm gonna go into both of them. I am gonna bring Mias Kravata, and last but not least, do we go Salamence here? Salamence pretty fast, got some good moves going. Can't really use Temper Flare if we're in the rain. But still, the damage is high for this guy. I'm gonna go Salamence. I mean, they do have a lot of physical attackers, but two of them won't be affected by it. Annihilate and Inner Focus Dragonite? Yeah, we don't... We don't even want to intimidate them, so... I'm not even gonna bring in Sinor. I'm not even gonna bring him. And both those Pokemon can't be touched by Fake Out. One's Ghost, one has Inner Focus. So, I'd rather just say, give this slot to Salamence. Get a little bit more offensive pressure. But they're gonna end up going Mousehold alongside with Grimstone. So this could be Pop Bomb Mousehold. This is looking a tad bit scary for Mousehold. But I'm able to get all of this and I'm able to start boosting our special attack. So from here, do I just go Tailwind or do I start launching Weather Balls? I'll start launching Weather Balls. No need to Terror here. He might Terror into Mousehold. I'd rather start boosting my special attack here. So he might go Ghost, he might go Follow Me, he might set up Screens, I feel like a lot of different options here. But pairing up Mousehold with Grimmsnarl makes me believe, well this is Party Shot, makes me believe that this Mousehold is Pop Bomb, right? It does make me believe that. But he's gonna drop my special attack, we're gonna bring it right back up with Electro Shot. He's gonna send out Arch Ludon of his own. So Arch Ludon versus Arch Ludon. And ooh, this is what, this is what he's getting after. All right, I see you, I understand. I understand, <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't really have special attackers out here either besides my Arch Ludon. Bit scary here. Could just went for a body press. This thing's plus four on defense now. Oh, that's scary. That is scary, Weather Ball gonna launch here. And that does some nice damage, we like that damage. Electro Shot also gonna fly. And if I had to guess, he's going to bring back out Arch Ludon. Well, not Arch Ludon, Grimmsnarl, and just party shot into me again. Those are just my guesses. And I do have Focus Ash on my Pelipper, which is good news. I still have Flower Trick on Meowth's Corrado, which is really good. 
with the choice band. I kind of think you got a Saber Terror for that. Just to drop Flower Truck and do some big time damage. They're going to set out their next Pokemon and Scrim Tunnel. We already know what they're going for. We already know what they're going for. Um, Go set up the Tailwind for the rest of the squad. Yeah, I'm going to set up Tailwind for the rest of the squad. And at this point, we're just going to go into a Body Press and Archelodon. We should have probably Terrasilized our Archelodon. That's what they're known. And he's probably just going to take out my Archelodon first, but he's going to Terrasilize into fighting. Yeah, these Body Presses, we stand no chance. I mean, Hurricane's going to actually be pretty good now, so hold up. Wait a minute. There's Fake Out. Ooh, you, oh, don't take out my Pelipper. Leave my Pelipper alone. Leave my Pelipper alone. Wow, we did like negative five damage to that. Someone's dead here on my team. Pelipper. No, that's gotta be Archelodon. Alright, so give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I get to bring, bring out Miascarada right now. And we're gonna double down into this. Uh, we're doubling right down into this Archelodon. Hurricane with Grass Terra Flower Truck. I'm so in. I'm so in. I'm so in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now is your chance to shine, Miascarada. We need some big damage from you. Choice Ban, Stab, Terra Boost it. Automatic Crit Damage Boost. Oh, yeah. I'm about this. I'm about this. And chances are Archdulian's best more so than anything. So it probably doesn't have Protect. All right. Come on. Kitty Cat. Flower Trick launching. How much damage is doing? Because I think the combination of this and Hurricane should KO. Let's go Flower Trick. Bop. That's big damage. Hurricane. Get after it. Get after it, Hurricane. You got it, Paloops. You got it, Paloops. All day, Paloops. All day, Paloops. That's a big time KO for us. He's probably going for Spirit Break here as well, which is kind of scary. But I Terrasilize into Grass, which is really good for us. And yeah, there's Spirit Break. You should soak at least half, right? I mean, Escarada is a lightweight. You get the guaranteed special attack drop, but I got some speed cooking here, and I'm ready to rock Flower Trick. Dragonite's gonna come out here, so East Speed not looking good for us. East Speed is definitely not looking good for us. Um, I could Hurricane maybe try to go for Ducks. I could Hard Swap out into Salamence if I want to. Yeah, I wish I had protect at this point, but yeah, we're gonna go into hard swap here. It's gotta be E speed. It has got to be E speed. Maybe I should have went for like a weather ball and snarl. But I feel like we we, we want a shot at ducks here. Wait, when well, he wants sucker punch here, he wants sucker punch. That's what he wants. He wants sucker punch from Grim snarl. Hurricane's gonna launch, do decent damage with a crit. Give me ducks. No ducks and outrage gonna fly. Are you choice man? You might be. You might be. Now, we got a little bit of speed here. They don't have Terra anymore, which is good. And now I can go into Miascarada. Um, hmm. Thing is about Miascarada, we can choice into Sucker Punch here. I doubt we're eating a Sucker Punch from Grimstone. That's our, that's our one problem here. We got speed cooking. That's what's really good. Actually, no, we don't. Who's faster? Salmon, you should be faster than Dragonite. Alright, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I think we Sucker Punch to bypass that thing, Sucker Punch. And then we just Outrage to finish off this Dragonite. That's my play. The Sucker Punch is doing about negative 5, but it should keep us alive from their Sucker Punch. Yep. Cool. Good call. Outrage. Hit this Dragonite. Please and thank you. Yep, thank you. See you later, Dragonite. Now it turns into a 2v1. And I doubt it goes for Sucker Punch this time. Man, this is going to be a lot closer than I thought. Do I just Sucker Punch again? Actually, I have to. I'm choosing to it. I am choosing to it. I need his Outrage to end. We might lose this match. They cancel. Oh my lord. I don't think they know we were choiced. I don't think they did. That one should have been a lot closer, but hey, we take that win all day.
Final match on its way, and that last match actually came down to the wire. I don't think our opponent realized that we were choice in the Sucker Punch, and we actually were locked into Outrage for a couple turns. So Outrage couldn't hit Grimstrawl because it was a fairy type, and Sucker Punch was doing minimal damage. So if you thought about it, Grimstrawl could have just started Sucker Punching my Salamence, KO in that, and then worked on the Miascarada, which they had a shot at winning, but they canceled the match. I don't think they realized we were choice bandit with the Miascarada, so that worked out in our favor. Definitely did, but they're in the final match going up against Hydreigon with Water Tauros, the Fable, Volcarona, Rillaboom, and last but not least, Goldigo. Um, Intimidate's not going to be bad here. We could end up just leading our Incineroar, and I think that is going to be our play, so I'll go Incineroar here for the lead. On top of that, we want to lead Miascarada. Could be good. Could definitely be good. We think they're going to lead Rillaboom? That's an option. I'm gonna go Miascarada. We're gonna go lead this Pokemon. We'll bring Salamence in the back end. And last but not least. Huh. Actually, let's lead Salamence and bring Miascarada in the back end. And last but not least, Gold to go with the choice specs. Ready to do some damage? We're so ready to do some damage. But we're sitting 1-1. One one. Let's look for a winning record. Looks to go 2-1 for today's video. I would love to grab ourselves a winning record. But yeah, I've been having a blast uploading and recording these uh regulation h scenes it's been so much fun like we, we just did an infernate video now we're doing the oscarada like they're, they're, these pokemon are pokemon that we could only use in regulation h like regulation g don't stand a chance but grassy surge is going to come out here first so the roll boom is faster than us which is a little tough um i do get that attack drop which is nice and i feel as uh, just going for like a flare blitz here could be good for us or i can fake out a slot and then Stellar Terra. Or I could just protect here. Let's just protect. I think they gotta figure out the Salamence. He ends up withdrawing. That's fine. So we get off a free turn. We get off some free fake out damage. Unless you're Cobra. That's the only issue. That's the only issue. So we end up protecting here, which is good news. I'm gonna fake out the Hydreigon. Bop. Do about negative five damage. But get the flinch. And now Fable's on the field for follow me. All right, Fable, I see you. I understand. Could maybe go into you. Let's save the goggles. Um, I'm a flare blitz in that slot. Um, Now I'm swapping gold to go. Mmm, dark moves are looking scary though. Yeah, I'm going to golden go. I feel like a dragon move's gotta come out here rather than a dark move. Alright. This lead this th these two Pokemon on the field are a little bit of a problem for me. Yep, there's a problem with me. Kinda seen that coming from 85 miles away. Go for Draco Meteor. Oh. <laughs> That's not looking good. That's no bueno. Flare Blitz doing minimal damage, ain't it? Yeah, Fable's pretty bulky. Pretty bulky Pokemon. And who's faster? It's gotta be Golden Go, right? Golden Go, right? Correct? Yeah, 149. Alright. So I'm thinking from here we just, you know, go for a parting shot into this thing. And on top of that, we Terrasilize, we just send and make it rain with the choice specs. That's my play all day. And we're going to see a Terra pop out from him as well. We might be dead. This might just, this might just be a Draco Meteor into our slot. Let's see. Dragon Terra. No, Steel Terra. Wow, what a perfect Terra. What a perfect Terra. I mean, Parting Shot really isn't doing anything. We probably should have went to Flare Blitz. More so than anything. But, e, this is, this, this ain't looking good for us. I'll tell you that much. This is not looking good for us. Focus Energy Hydreigon. If I can land this, this, uh, make it rain, this could be big for us, but we have to land make it rain. Just Fable protects. How dare you, Fable. How dare thee. Dark Pulse flies. We should soak this. We do soak it. it really sucks. I mean, I get to bring out my Escarado, though. How much damage make it rain really doing? Choice specs. I mean, we should fire blitz here. Totally should fire blitz. All 
All right, it's good to know that, uh, it is good to know that I mean, Escarage should be fast on the field, right? Correct? Yeah, 192. Sheesh. But it's good to know that Makeup Ring can finish off this Hydra Gun. So, I feel as if they take out Miascarada, I feel as if they take out Miascarada, then, uh, then Golden Goku can clean up the mess. They're just follow me. Miascarada's gonna go first. Oh, that's actually, speed's not working in our favor. How much damage are you doing, Flower Trick? Okay, Owen, maybe? You are KO'ing. Cool. So you pick up the KO. And you're gonna go after who here. You're gonna, you're gonna finish off him. Alright, so that's actually better for us. That Golden Go drops out here. And we keep our Miascarada, who's faster than this. Than this Hydrogon. It's Fire Trick and KO. Um, I think we bring out Incineroar here just in case Revolving comes out and about. I could just do that, and then I could just fake out this uh, Hydreigon. Kind of play it like that, right? Yeah, because if Rillaboom comes out here, he poses that fake out. But now we pose that fake out, and there's Rillaboom. So, what I'm thinking this turn is we double down into Hydreigon. And the reason I say that is, if we fake out Hydreigon and Flower Trick Hydreigon, then whatever Rillaboom does, or whoever Rillaboom fakes out, doesn't matter. Because if they fake out the Masquerada, we're just going to fake out the Hydreigon. If they fake out the Incineroar, we're just going to Flower Trick the Hydreigon and pick up a KO. So, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. So, we'll double down the Hydreigon with this. We'll see what he wants to do with fake out. I'm kind of hoping he just fakes out my Incineroar. Because then Masquerada just picks up the KO. So, that'd be better for us. But, let's see. Let's see. So, just focus energy Hydreigon. Massive threat for us right now. Um, and he's going to pick out Miascarada, so smart play. And we're launching this thing as well. And at this point, they don't have Terra, so... With the speed that we have, Flower Trick into Hydreigon, Flare Blitz into... Into Robin. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds beautiful. The grass is gone, though. Ooh. I still feel as you should KO. You're Choice Band. You are Choice Band. I, I, I'm a... I'm going to say you do it. So he ends up protecting Hydra Guy. No big deal. No big deal. You don't have Grassy Turn, so you can't go for Grassy Guide. You could go for U-Turn. That might not be good for us. I know it's not Stab, but Super Effective Shot. Yeah, there's the U-Turn. My girl, Miascarada. She got me all day. So he's going to U-Turn Pivot. He's going to choose to take a Flare Blitz from whoever this is. It's going to be Golden Go. So Golden Go has to take the Flare Blitz. That's great for us. That's great news for us. It's great news. Bring this thing down the red. Bring you down the red. All right, so I have a choice to KO. I have a choice to KO, and I kind of want to KO the Golden Go. Actually, you just protect it. You could swap into Rollaboom here, though. That's my issue. So you know what? I'm going to take out you with Flower Trick, and I'm going to Flare Blitz this slot. Yep, come on, man. Come on, man. These reads are too easy. You really thought I was going for another Flower Trick? Do they think this is amateur hour? Nah, this ain't amateur hour. This is my game. I'm running the show. I'm running the show. Bye bye, Golden Go. Hey, yo, Real Boom. Hold this Flare Blitz. Hold it. Hold this Flare Blitz. I'm, I'm handing it off to you. Take this Flare Blitz. Hold this. Hold this. Hold this, dude. Later. And now that's game. What a good read for us to finish off this match. And we get a crit. Mwah. Mwah. It's a beautiful crit. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mwah. Good read. We were rewarded with that crit for that read right there. Big time read. Yeah, I knew you were swapping the whole time. I knew you were swapping. Get on out of here. It's going to be a 2 1 winning record for us. Yashkarana arriving out here in the third and final match. We absolutely love it. So we'll go Flower Trick. I will spam Flare Blitz. Battle's canceled. Battle was canceled. GG to our opponent. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 2-in-1, rocking out with Choice Band Miascara. This Pokemon was a ton of fun to use today. We also got to use Life Orb Salamence, which I think we only used once, dropping Outrageous. 
but it won us the match. So Salamence, cool Pokemon. We definitely got to showcase it a little bit better in the future. But today's video was all about Mias Karata. I feel like we did a perfect job at showcasing this Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.